setting up Quora for marketing. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to the first live lesson in our Quora Marketing Masterclass. We are as excited as you are to get started, so let's dive in. In this first lesson, we're going to walk you through the initial steps you have to take in your Quora marketing journey, which includes creating a Quora account, following your topics of interest, creating an attractive profile, optimizing your bio, how to find questions that you can answer. Expect the upcoming lessons to get more in-depth because we'll be showing you how to use Quora for marketing from zero to hero. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming next. How to use native Quora features to market your business. How to upload marketing videos to Quora. How to use Quora to engage your audience. How to repurpose your blog's content for Quora. How to create backlinks on Quora. How to set up advertising campaigns on Quora. How to set up remarketing campaigns on Quora. How to cross-promote your Quora content on other platforms. How to review your performance on Quora. Tips, tricks, and more. Are you ready to learn all you need to use Quora to promote your brand and grow your business? Yes? Then let's get started. Create a Quora account. Creating a Quora account is a fairly simple job. Start by visiting the Quora homepage at Quora.com. You will be prompted to log in or sign up. You can sign up using your Google account, your Facebook account, or your email address. For this example, we are going to sign up with email. To do this, simply click on the Sign Up With Email link. On the following page, enter your first name, last name, email address, and password. Solve the CAPTCHA and then click on the Sign Up button. Follow your topics of interest. Awesome! You just joined Quora, and now it is time to follow your topics of interest. You have to choose topics so Quora can show you questions and answers about those topics in your Quora feed. Simply select 10 or more topics from this window. Make sure to select topics that are directly related to your areas of expertise and your niche. You can click on the Continue button after you have selected your interests. After you select your interests, you will be suggested to follow spaces. Quora spaces are communities that users and contributors have created around the topics that you just selected. Here you have to select up to three spaces. You can click on Next after you select your spaces to continue. Next, you will be suggested to select additional languages that you know. You will be suggested languages according to your region. Make your selection and click on Done. Create an attractive profile and optimize your bio. Now that you completed your registration, it is time to create and optimize your profile. Start by clicking on the profile icon located in the top right corner of the screen and then click on the tab with your name. In the Profile section, you will be able to edit your photo, your name, your profile credentials, your bio, your credentials and highlights, and knows about credentials. Let's start by clicking on the Add Photo button inside the Profile icon to upload the profile picture. OK, now click on the Add Profile Credential and enter your title or position at your company into the Profile Credential field. Then click on Save. All right. Now click on Write a Description About Yourself to open the Bio Editing window. Here you are going to write your professional bio. Please bear in mind that Quora only shows the first 50 characters of your bio when users see your profile in the feed. Because of this, we recommend that you add the keywords that best describe your brand or business, as well as your position within the company that you will be promoting, right into the first line of your description. Here you can even include links to your other channels. To do this, click on the link button and enter your social profile URL into the URL field. Check the footnote option and then click on the Add button. You can click on the Update button when you're ready to save your bio. Now it is time to add credentials and highlights. First, click on Add Employment Credential to add information about your employment and click on Save when you're done. Next, click on Add Education Credential to enter your educational background info. Save and then click on Add Location Credential to add information about your current location. After you save, 
you can click on the Edit button in the Credentials and Highlights section to add more credentials. Now click on the Edit button in the Knows About section to add the topics that you know about to your profile. Click on Done when you are finished adding these topics. Finding Questions to Answer Now that your profile is complete and optimized, it is time to learn where you can find questions to answer. To do this for the first time, click on the Answer Your First Question link. This will take you to the question section, which you can also access from anywhere on the site by clicking on the Answer tab. And this is it for this lesson, friends, but get ready, because in the following lesson, we'll be showing you how to use these Quora features to market your business.